Hello everyone, Broloth here. Long, longish time-ish, no see-ish. Uh, I've been posting some Starbound videos in for a bit because I've been playing that with a bunch of friends. Check those out if you want to see some me being dumb. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here to announce the winner of the Christmas giveaway for the beta key. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've, uh, out of respect to the person's privacy, I'm not going to say their name since all I have is their real name. Uh, but I've messaged them on Fa I've posted on Facebook. Uh, they're the, the the winner of the beta key. Posted about it uh, yesterday around this time. Uh, you have 28 hours until today, right now. So you have 28 hours until right now. So I guess the uh, 30th at around 4:30 Central Time to respond to me on uh, either YouTube or Facebook. I've given options for both. Uh, respond. Send me a message on YouTube. I'll send you a beta key the beta key and you'll be all set to start playing if you want to play with me by all means you'd be free to add me I've posted my uh, battle tag a couple times out there I'll repost it again it's Broloth uh, number 1869 so feel free to add me there playing a warlock deck early game creature aggro kinda counters a lot of these priests you see throwing out really early game cards or really late game power got a swamp ooze I'm gonna go ahead and drop a soul fire. I lost my fairy dragon, but that's okay. I'm gonna play the knife juggler. Just had to get rid of that early game presence. Smite, classic. Not a big deal. Got to get rid of that early creature removal early. I'm gonna drop void walker. I'm gonna draw a card, and we're gonna end it there. Point of the deck is to throw creatures out there that make killing any of the other creatures a, b a mistake. So if my Voidwalker survived, I would have thrown out, or had my Felim survived, jeez, I'm, I'm Knife Juggler. Had my Knife Juggler survived, put him in his deck, put him in your hand. Had my Knife Juggler survived, I would have, uh, he's got a Soul Fire. Uh, he would have taken a damage from the Voidwalker. I'm also going to go ahead and drop these two. And swing in. She's gonna give him an extra health. Big ol' 1-5 with taunt. That's all fire. Probably take out the young priestess. He can heal up and kinda try to stall it, but stalling doesn't generally work against this kind of deck. There we go. Oh, Shadow War Pain, destroy that minion. Not a big deal. He's gonna heal himself with the last two. Good on ya. What are we going to do? We're going to draw. Mortal Coil, not bad. Um, not too afraid of any... 5 drop cards he has. Or 6 drops, because he's a priest. He could Cabal Shadow Priest if he had it. Not a lot of priests play with that, though. He pulled, pulled one of my Flame Wimps. Not bad, not bad. He's going to give it plus 1, plus 1. Gonna double its health. Give it plus three health. Plus two health. Okay. Not a, again, not a big deal. It's a, now a four or five. I could. We have a couple options now. You can take it out with this. Mortal coil it. Draw. Play another one. Uh, he's got 22 health. I could Leroy at 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage. Uh, let's see here. Nope, not enough to do that. I can't drop both of them. So what I'll do instead is take it out here and draw. Fairy Dragon, good. I'll play her. Abusive Sergeant here. Take this guy out. And I'll draw. Clever now. So we were able to take out his board while maintaining a decent sized. I'm thinking of a turn 8. Leroy. Lure Arcane Golem Overwhelming Power. We'll see, though. Chillin' Yeti. Good card. Copy two more cards out of my hand. Or deck, rather. He may have pulled a Soul Fire. He didn't. Or he may have, but hasn't played it yet. I'm gonna play him. I'm gonna hold off on playing him. Just see what I get here. Okay, cool.
he can't mind or not mind I don't know what I was thinking he can't uh, mind control anything uh, next turn even if I do play him this turn rather pulled an eye out of my deck hopefully he didn't pull a holy nova Voidwalker gets him that taunt killed my imp lowered everyone's health Puts those saunters out. Kills that guy. Deals two damage to him. Takes him out. Heals himself for two. Now the Fender Vargas does kind of put a big damper on this deck's power. Um, I take him out. I take them all out. Fortunately, not them all. I can take the two taunters out. So I'll do. I'll draw real quick. See what I get. Friend of Argus. Okay, cool. That actually is very powerful. Um, how do I want to switch spin this though? Makes me do. Lets me do that. Then I'll do this. Get some more health out there. Now next turn, I'll decide whether or not I win or lose. If he clears the board, I'm probably going to lose. If he leaves anything out, I might, I'm probably going to win. That honor kind of throws things off, though. Thankfully, he didn't get my imp. If he wants to take this guy out, he's going to have to trade here. Or not imp, my young priestess, rather. He pulled out my Leroy. It's going to hit me for 13. 9, rather, excuse me. Sorry. I need a soul fire, another overwhelming power. Boom. Let's draw just to be safe. Dark Iron Dwarf. That's actually really good. I don't have enough mana to make him useful, though, so. He's got 14. That's game. Oof, that might have been a mistake. I should have swung first. Still game though. And that's that. So again, winner on my YouTube channel. Or not YouTube channel. Winner on my Facebook. Bonus star puts me in a rank 15. I'm, uh, again, I'm not playing too often. Not as much as I used to be because I've got lots of other games I want to play. I'm going to start streaming other games. A friend and I are going to start playing uh, a game I picked him up. I got him for Christmas. Uh, Adventure Time. Explore the Dungeon because I don't know. It's a co-op game and if there's one thing the two of us love it is co-op games. We're also probably going to be streaming some Seven Days to Die as soon as uh, I pick that game up. Funds have left me kind of uh, limited on what I can buy and play to stream and cast. So uh, we got a new quest. We've killed some minions. I ranked up and got a good star going. Uh, I'll post that deck in the uh, comments, the, the, not comments, the, um, description of the video. I call it my Dark Portal deck. For those of you who may not be able to visit the website, I'll read off the cards for you real quick so you can add them. A, an Abusive Sergeant, 1. Leopard Gnome, 2. Young Priestess, 2. Fairy Dragon, 2. Knife Juggler, 2. Arcane Golem, 2. Harvest Golem, 2. Shadowed Sun Cleric, 1. Dark Iron Dwarf, 2. You know, you can swap the Shadowed Sun Clerics and Dark Iron Dwarves if you want. I'm considering it. Defender of Argus, 1. Leroy Jenkins, Soulfire 2, Blood Imp 2, Flame Imp 2, Mortal Coil 1, Powerful Oming 2, Voidwalker 2, 1 Demon Fire. You can swap out that Demon Fire for an additional Mortal Coil if you want. I find that a turn 1 Voidwalker into a turn 2 Demon Fire sets up the early game really nicely. Especially if you've got a coin, you can coin into a Flame Imp or you can coin into a um, Abusive Sergeant, coin into a Leper Gnome, coin into Young Priestess and really make that Voidwalker a big wrecking, big wrecking ball. Um, again, Facebook, I've messaged the winner. I've posted the winner on Facebook. I've uh, messaged them. Uh, I haven't messaged them only because I can't message them as my ch page. I can only message them as me, and I don't want to do that. So you have 48 hours to reply to me by tomorrow, uh, by either Facebook or or YouTube. You have until around 4:30 p.m. Central Time, Central Standard Time, CST, 
on the 30th, and I will get you your beta key. If not, I'll select another winner randomly, and then I'll message them. So, thank you all for watching. I look forward to the open beta whenever that happens, and I hope that I get to see everyone in there.